Hi everyone, welcome back to another episode of Bella's Corner. Today I have a Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale haul. Long awaited, oh my god, you don't even understand how long this has taken to get to my home. I know everything is in a bag because some of the stuff was bought in person at a store, some of the stuff was bought online, and the online order literally took like two weeks. It's not even funny how long it took. But regardless, now let's get into the haul. Okay, so this haul consists of products that I purchased and that my brother purchased too. So I'm just gonna start going through the bags and whatever I pull out, that is what we're gonna start with. Okay, bag number one. I got the Whipped Rose and Vanilla Fine Fragrance Mist. This is actually a repackage for a uh, Whipped Rose Latte from last year, which I really liked and then I ended up giving away because I was like, mm, not feeling it anymore. But I like it again, I don't know. It, it's a sweeter take on rose and it has, it's not gourmand, but it just has a little bit more sweetness to it. I'm trying to see it. Whipped Foam, Cocoa Flowers, and Crushed Rose Petals. I get the cocoa a lot in this and so I'm excited to try this out again. Plus the packaging is truly beautiful. I love how sleek it looks with the black and then the flowers. So yeah, Whipped Rose Latte. Um, from the same collection, I got Pink Lily and Bamboo. This has Wild Lily Petals, Bamboo Leaf, Pink Ginger, Fresh Fig, and Shauna Wood. That's a lot of fragrance notes right there. Okay, this has a, this is more fresh than what I usually go for, but I'm willing to try it out. This year for my fragrances, I really want to try to mix and match and like, you know, pair things together because I want to get through my collection. I have a very large collection of Bath & Body Works and like fragrances, perfumes in general, and I just want to be able to utilize that collection as much as possible. Um... I don't know what I'm gonna pair this with yet, but I do enjoy it. I think I can see myself using this more in the springtime because it has that kind of like fresh floral note where right now I really wanna hone in on like the gourmands and the like cozy scents because it's all cold outside. The last one from that collection I got was the blackberry and basil. I think I love this packaging the most out of all three of them. This has fresh blackberry, pink pomelo, sweet basil, and jasmine petals. I am obsessed with uh, blackberries and basil in the the hand sanitizer, the soap, and the candle. So I was like super excited to see it come out in a fine fragrance mist. And it's delicious. Like I am so excited to wear this for the springtime. I, I just get like pure blackberry. I don't get the basil, but I wonder if on my skin it will be different and it'll come out a little bit more. But I really like this. It's earthy. It's sweet. Not something I usually go for, but I'm excited to try this out, guys. Like, I'm really trying to branch out of my fragrance comfort zone, and I feel like those three really are, like, good transitional scents for me. Next, I also got the Strawberry Snowflakes. I got two of the Fine Fragrance Mist. So this is one that I actually smelled in store and was going to buy, but then it ended up being a little bit too expensive, so I waited. Oh my gosh, this smells like berry Captain Crunch. Like I used to think the, um, what is it called? The berry waffle cone. Um, fine fragrance this smelled like the Captain Crunch berries. No, this is spot on. This smells like literally if you're just having the berries from Captain Crunch and milk. Oh, it's so good. I'm so excited. I tried this on in the store and it smelled delicious on me. And so I had to get two online when they were on a better sale. And I'm very excited I have those. I love anything that smells like fruity, milky, gourmand. That is my type of vibe. And I'm so pumped to have those. Plus look how adorable this packaging is. I love that it's pink. Okay, the last thing in this first bag right here is actually my brother's. He got three black tie clones for 75% off, which is insane. Um, he loves this scent. He loves it in the home fragrance candles. Um, he said that in the spray, like the, the ones in the cans, it's not the best, but he says in the cologne, it does smell really good. I don't know if there's just a discrepancy in like the 
the batch or if they just smell different in different forms but he does like it in this and he this is truly like the biggest steal of the whole haul let me see how much he got this for so original price, these are $39.50 and he got them for $10.88, which is insane. I mean, you cannot beat that. These are full colognes and the notes are going to be uh, aromatic sage, dark tonka bean, and rich sandalwood. I've smelled the candle before, so I, I don't think I remember what the body care smells like, but uh, the candle does smell really good for, it reminds me of like a New Year's Eve type of vibe where it's like, dark and sexy, cologne kind of like into the night, but for men, if that makes sense. Next, um, guys, I got it. I got the last few of the pumpkin peanut brittle online. I got these for 50% off. I don't care. I, my boyfriend and I, we go through these like literally crazy all the time. And so I just had to buy the last couple stock they had. I did actually get four of them. Um, but one of them did break in shipping, so luckily I had an empty candle jar and I just popped it right in there. So I only have three to show on camera today, but yeah, I got four pumpkin peanut brittles. That is the best scent ever. It is so strong. It's so nutty. It literally smells like crunchy, salty peanut butter and it's everything. I highly recommend. I hope it comes out next year so everyone else can try it too. But this year, yeah, I think I probably bought around like, I don't even know, like <laughs> oh, maybe almost like 20 pumpkin peanut rolls and we're flying through them. Like my stockpile always needs to be replenished of that one. Next bag. All right. Oh, this is another one. That's my brother's. He bought two, four, six, eight of these fresh rainfalls because they were 75% off in my household. We go through, I would say honestly, like four to five hand soaps a week. Um, so we fly through these really quick. He got these for 75% off. So instead of 750, they went down to 187, which is a great deal. So anytime uh, hand soaps go on like exceptional deals like this, we try to pick them up since we fly through them so quickly. Which then leads me to my next bag of my hand soaps. Um, okay, I got three vanilla clouds. I absolutely love this packaging. If ever packaging of like hand soaps comes in light pink, I'm buying it. I don't care what the scent is. It can smell horrible. I absolutely love this color. I am so excited for when I am going to move out and then like decorate my own bathroom with my boyfriend and we will be having pink soaps. I don't care what he says. I want pink soaps in the bathroom. So I have vanilla cloud. This is whipped vanilla, apple blossom and sandalwood. This actually smells just like bare vanilla from Victoria's Secret if you're familiar with that scent. Um, I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it in a hand soap because I love bare vanilla on my body and so I don't know if like after using the restroom, I'm gonna wanna like wash my hands with that. But again, I don't care because it's so beautiful and so pink. Next, um, I stocked up on the kitchen soaps because we go through kitchen soaps uh, fairly quickly too at my house. And then I always like to just have a stockpile of kitchen soaps when they're in a good deal because like you always need them. Um, I got three lemon cellos. I'm only holding up two right now. But this is like the OG kitchen lemon scent. Like right now, Bath & Butters only sells kitchen lemon, but this was like the one that everyone used to have, like, oh, lemon cello. Um, this has Sorrento lemons, sugared mint, and fresh verbena. It, it literally just smells like lemons, <laughs> like it's a clean lemon scent. But I had to get it in the lemon cello. I've never had lemon cello before, but this just feels like such a throwback to me that I got three in the um foaming hand soap and then i also got three in this deep cleansing just to kind of switch it up i i get bored really quickly of things and so if i can switch it up every so often i will plus i think this packaging is like so much more sleek and beautiful um i mean nothing's wrong with this one but i don't know like this one it's reminding me of lana del rey's um violets bent over the grass backwards standby okay I don't know why, but this packaging is reminding me of this vinyl 
cover of Lana Del Rey's Violet Fent over the grass backwards. Oh my God, I don't know why I can't say it correctly. Violet bend backwards over the grass. I'm sorry, Lana. I don't know why I'm not reading this correctly, which I highly recommend this poetry book too. This is in the vinyl, so she like reads some of the poems, but I also have the book. It is beautiful. Um, but yeah, just like a little quick Lana Del Rey reference for all the Lana fans out there. Next, I got this super cute little hand sanitizer holder. Oh my God, I was just like obsessed. I was so tempted to buy like a ton of these. Uh, so whenever it's like my friends, oh my God, there's like hair all over, I'm so sorry. Since, uh, so whenever it's like my friends or whoever's birthday, I can like throw one of these in, but I held back, just got the one for me because I wanted it, but I thought this was so cute. I love the pink color. Okay guys, last but not least, this looks like it is half my stuff, half my brother. So let's see what my brother's. Oh, he has black tie. He must've got these 75% off too. There's four of them in here. Let me do a live sniff test. Oh my God, this is like glued shut. Hmm. Very cologne-y. <sighs> I don't know what it smells like. It smells good, but it, it is strong. So if you do want a strong uh, men's fragrance, I would recommend this one if you can find it at any of your um, Bath and Body Works. So yeah, nice. <laughs> I don't know. And then last but not least for me, I got the matching shower gels for this like beautiful collection. So I got the blackberries and basil, super excited to use this. I think this is like so beautiful. I love the color of the shower gel. I love the the front of it. I just think it's beautiful. Whipped rose and vanilla, um, excited to use this too. And then pink lily and bamboo. This is probably my least favorite of the whole collection, but like still, I'm gonna, I'm gonna use it. I'm gonna be excited to use it anyway. All right, guys, that is it. Bath and Body Works semi-annual sale haul done in the books. It is over. I do not want to shop anymore from that sale. I have way too much stuff and I sh probably shouldn't have even bought anything from the sale this time around, but I am happy with my purchases and I'm super excited to start using all of them and get them into my empties, which by the way, there will be an empties coming soon because this basket over here, I'm looking at it. This basket is filling up real quick is all I'm saying. So yeah, that is something to look forward to in the future. But thank you everyone for watching Bella's Corner today. I hope you all have a great day or night wherever you are. Let me know in the comments what you bought at Bath & Body Works semi-annual sale and your favorite products you picked up this time around. Bye guys.